Hello everyone and welcome to another new review of Pinkie Pride. It's Weird Al and Pinkie Pie in an episode together. Let's just sum up the whole thing. Well, maybe not. We can still take a look at the story and, and everything and see how it is all good. Oh, and by the way, this is also uh, this is the second time this is a musical episode. The first being Magical Mystery Cure. Hmm. Interesting enough. Oh, well, let's take a look at this episode and see how it is. Alright, so a pony named Cheese Sandwich comes to Ponyville and helps plan a special birthday and anniversary. Whatever. So anyway, yeah, they're planning a very special birth anniversary for Rainbow Dash. But Pinkie Pie is sad because she wanted to host a party and becomes jealous of Cheese Sandwich. So they have a goofball to see which one is the sillier pony. The story here is actually really fun and a happy story, and I enjoy it from beginning to end. I like that we got to see Appaloosa again, and the jokes, again, were really funny in this. Although, there's not much else to say here, because, like I said, this is another musical episode. Alright, let's cut to the chase and let's talk about Weird Al. I love him in this episode. The voice he provides for the character is perfect. You can tell he's really having fun with this episode like John Dean DeLancey does with Discord. He's a fun and zany character, and I'm glad that he wasn't the villain in, the, in this episode. He just wanted to show Pinkie Pie that he was the best at throwing parties, but got carried away. And he does feel sorry for her at the end. I actually kind of like that. I think we've all been kind of there before, like you wanted to prove to someone that you're the best at something. But you get carried away and you feel a little bad. Pinkie Pie here was also really fun as well, and you do feel sorry for her. Her and Weird Al it really make this episode together, and it really does make it fun all the way through. The rest of the cast has some great lines and jokes in this episode, too. Or are you boneless? No pony calls me boneless. Right, boneless? Oh, I like a nice picnic party. Uh, so overall, the cast was really fun in this. The animation on this episode is really creative, mostly on the faces. They just look so weird, but it's so interesting that it's hard not to like. They did a fine job with it. I mean, look at Pinkie Pie's face right here. That's both creepy and funny at the same time. The party scene does look really cool as well, and it does make me want to go to it. So overall, it has really good animation here. Alright, now since there are so many songs in here, we're going to go with them in order. So, the first song in here is pretty nice and catchy and it feels like a Disney song. Plus, this is the first time we hear the Cakes and Diamond Tiara sing. The second one was alright. Not the best, but it does tell us a bit about Cheese's past. Although, Weird Al singing here feels a bit wonky to me. I'm not sure how to put it, but listening to everything you know is wrong and comparing to this, I'm not sure. It's, it doesn't, you know, it's a little hard to explain why it feels wonky. It just kind of does to me. The part, third one here is a nice sad song, and you do feel sorry for Pinkie Pie and happy for her when she is going out to do something about this. The Goof Off song is my favorite. It's really catchy, and there's a lot of stuff going on here. And plus, this line. The fifth song was, uh, alright as well. The first beginning of it was pretty sweet, but when it got to the Ponyville part, it sort of went a little bit down. Not a bad one, just a little alright. The last one is probably another one of my favorites. It's a nice way to end off the musical episode. It's upbeat, catchy, and it's just all around a fun song. So overall, I say the songs were pretty good in this uh, episode. The moral here was actually kind of believable, too. Like, you shouldn't let your pride get in the way of doing something to make other people happy. And I can understand Pinkie Pie's and Cheese's feelings. Like, Cheese never meant to, you know, take Pinkie Pie's place. He just wanted to show her that he was a good party planner because she inspired him to do something. 
I think we've all been in that situation before. We wanted to impress, you know, the main person that inspired us the most, but sometimes we go a bit too far. Far. I'm not sure if I've done something like this, but I know some of you people might have. So overall, I love this episode. This was a fun little episode with lots of good musicals, lots of good jokes, and lots of good characters, and Cheese Sandwich was all around fun. So overall, I give this episode a 9 out of 10. I'm going to go out for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care.